And in an unfortunate turn of events... Another kid's show is used for indoctrination. Coco Melon is a wildly popular children's show that started as a YouTube channel in 2006. Now, Netflix has a spin off called Coco Melon Lane. It's gonna be a great day on Coco Melon Lane. Coco Melon! Recently, an episode featured a gay couple singing to their son. Nico is having trouble picking out something to wear, so in response, his parents tell him, just be you. Thing that we know about you, you love to get up and dance. How about you break out those moves for your two biggest fans? I don't know why a parent would encourage a boy to wear a tiara and a tutu just because he likes to dance, but this is where we are as a society. When you're trying to decide, think about all the things you like to do. Just be you. Just be me! This is another example of a show being good in the beginning, but then it takes a sharp turn when people have let their guard down. And in this case, it happens eight episodes in. And of course, they use the avenue of music to get the message through in a repetitive and catchy and disarming way that slips right past the logical part of your brain and straight into the subconscious to start affecting your behavior. Actually, the couple has been there since the beginning, but LGBTQ representation is nothing new on Netflix. In fact, they released this statement saying, at Netflix, we believe more people should see their lives reflected on screen. And whether it's Nick coming out to his mom in Heartstopper or Cal's mental health struggles in sex education, we know the importance of telling authentic LGBTQ stories and elevating new perspectives and experiences. You know, it's one thing to have this as an option for consenting adults, but Cocomelon Lane is for children ages two to four years old. Why is gender confusion being brought in the conversation? Listen, Hollywood is not going to stop. They have their agenda and they will keep pushing it for as long as people keep tuning in. We can speak about this all day long, but really, parents need to take action in protecting their children as much as possible from this confusion. We should be like John. He said, I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. The duty of every parent and their support system is to train up a child in the way he or she should go. So the question is, will you decide to train your children in the way of confusion or in the reliable way of the Lord? <laughs>